Tubers. It's Volkswagen time. I've got a uh, 76 model van. It belongs to my dad. I need to get it put together. We're going to be putting a uh, transmission, engine in it, I'm sure, and lots of other things. Uh, I've got a full set of gauges i got to put in it. Um, also, um, brake work. I'm sure it's going to need brake work. This thing sit around for a long, long time. Uh, I'm hoping that the calipers are in good shape, but we may need to, to uh, put some wheel cylinders on it, so on and so forth. Let me get into the transmissions. That's the first thing I'm going to be starting with. All right, this transmission here, this is a, a five rib. These things were made over over the years with uh, uh, just improvement, you know. Uh, this old, uh, this is a three rib. One, two, three. Five rib, obviously. Um, this transmission had it built. It's got highway gears put in it with a with a transmission like this, three rib running it in a bus. Uh, you're looking at you're you're going to be pretty wound out as far as RPMs go, uh, at about 55, 60 miles an hour. This this I had built to cruise with other cars. You know, upward 75 miles an hour before you get the RPMs up. Uh, I've got to switch these bell housings out. That's the reason I've got them laying side by side, aside from the fact I want to show you the difference between the two. Um, for a bus, you need these these ears sticking up because this a bolt goes through this and through the body. That's what holds your transmission up. This doesn't have them, so we got to switch these bell housings out. First thing I'm going to do is make sure that this old guy doesn't have any uh, gear oil in it. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it does or not, so I just want to be sure before I start uh, taking this thing apart and switching these bell housings out. So let's get into it. All right, guys, I'm going to show you the tool I used to uh, to do this with. This is a, you can get this at CIP1, wherever, and it, wherever your, your preferred online Volkswagen dealership is. If you live out in Cali, you can go to SoCal Imports and get these. Um, Set 17 millimeter is what it's referred to the size we're just gonna check and see if this now this is your side fuel plug that I'm actually taking loose so I just want to make sure it doesn't have anything in it I'm gonna tilt it back and take a peek and if it does we'll get it up on the drain pan and we'll uh Check it out. Don't see anything. Just to be on the safe side, we're gonna, we're gonna set him up on here and take it out. There is a drain plug in the bottom of these guys as well. Just a little easier to get to this one when you got the when you get the transmission out of it. It's got a little bit coming out. Good thing I didn't run it that way. All right, I had me a big surprise. All right, guys, I'm starting off by taking this one off first. The one that I need, it's filthy. I want to get this thing off here and then get a, give it a diesel fuel bath. It's just too nasty. I'm not going to put it. I wouldn't put that on my worst enemy's uh, transmission. So anyway, we'll get that off there. Uh, and you do that, obviously, by removing all these bolts. There's four down here. Got to get those off. So let's get those things off there and get this, get this thing cleaned up. Got me a cup of diesel fuel here that I'm going to throw all these nuts in. guys uh, what I want to do now is get my uh, I want to get my uh, bell housing separated from the transmission it doesn't take uh, doesn't take a whole lot there we go 
there it is all you have to do to reseal these they do make gaskets for them you just clean it up really good and use some RTV all the way around the edge and it'll seal fine now we'll get started on uh, we'll get started on this guy alright tubers uh, what I want to do now I'm just using this to degrease the uh, the surface because we've had diesel fuel on it diesel fuel is very very oily very oily and I don't want that to interfere with my seal so just giving it a just a quick rub down here for it one more time we'll let that evaporate I'm going to clean up the uh, transmission face a bit and we'll get ready to uh, get this thing put together I'm just using my aviation here just brushing a thin coat on normally if I don't have a gasket which my builder he put a gasket on here he on, on the when he when he built the freeway flyer for me he uh, he put a gasket on it it's in really good shape normally if I don't have a gasket I'll just use some uh, RTV regular old Permatec sealing on it but since I do have uh, a gasket I'm going to use the aviation and the gasket and we'll seal it up with that it doesn't take much normally I don't have a gasket handy and I just use the Permatex so I'm going to Go ahead and get all this on, put my gasket on, do the back side of the gasket, and then we'll bolt it on the transmission. We got our uh, bell housing together here. Just gonna line this up, slide it back. Now I need to get my, now, I thought I might have to get my hand and give it a tap. It went on good, no problem. One of these studs came out, came out with the with the nut. I'm just going to throw him in there first. Put my washers on. Anytime I have to deal with uh, putting a nut against magnesium or aluminum. I always like to have a washer for sure. This uh, bell housing was a little torn up because somebody, when they put it together, they didn't use washers. All right, I got all the nuts started all the way around. I'm just gonna snug it down. Get going the right way. After I'm done snugging all those down, I just go back and I check everything. I always move in a crisscross pattern. That's just one of my habits. I'm sure there is a torque value for this, but it's not a critical. Critical situation. But some people are definitely they are all about torque values. Not a problem. That's what you like. But in my mind, there's a time for it. Lots of times for it. That's not necessary on this. Never. I've never had a problem with these cases doing it this way.
All right. Now I've got to uh, clean up my drain plug and get it put in. And this, I'm thinking about just going over all this, like I said before, with a wire brush, my angle grinder, and cleaning it up. I'm not sure. It's a daily driver. I'm not too concerned about it. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I'm going to clean up the drain plug, put it in, and I'll be done with this part of it.